Harsh retaliation, punishment, revenge. That's what Iran is threatening against Israel after an attack on its consulate in Syria. The strike killed two Iranian generals responsible for aiding terror groups in their war against the Jewish state. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl reports. The attack on the consulate building in the Syrian capital is considered an attack on sovereign Iranian territory. Israel has not claimed responsibility for the blast that killed General Mohammad Reza Zahidi, along with his deputy and five other Iranian officers. General Zahidi was a commander in the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Quds Force and a key figure in Iran's proxy war against Israel that provides training and weapons for terror groups in the region. Zahedi and his deputy reportedly meeting with those leaders inside the consulate, likely planning further strikes on Israel. Iran is threatening a harsh retaliation, and Hezbollah said the enemy would receive punishment and revenge. CBN News war correspondent Chuck Holton says Iran doesn't want a one-on-one -on -one war with Israel. They want to continue with this proxy war through fighting Israel through the Houthis, through Hezbollah, and through Hamas. That includes sending weapons to terrorists inside biblical Judea and Samaria, also known as the West Bank. Israeli forces operating in the territories discovering weapons shipped by Iran. Massive amounts of explosives. They're starting to find mines, landmines, hand grenades, rockets. Uh, light anti-tank weapons, all sorts of uh, weapons like that, and that bodes very poorly for Israel. If a force the size of the one from Gaza that struck Israel on October 7th came out of Judea and Samaria instead, the destruction and death toll could be much worse. Because it basically surrounds Jerusalem on three sides. If 1,500 bad guys had come uh, across into Jerusalem and started going crazy, they could have easily killed a lot more people. They could absolutely wreak havoc in Jerusalem, the capital city. In Gaza, seven aid workers with the World Central Kitchen died in what Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called an unintended strike. He said officials are investigating and will do everything for this not to happen again. The IDF said it is making great efforts to enable a safe passage of humanitarian aid and is working in full cooperation and coordination with the WCK organization to support their efforts to provide food and humanitarian aid to the residents of the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, U.S. State Department and Israeli officials met for two hours in a video conference call to discuss Israel's impending invasion of Rafah. Hamas's last major stronghold in Gaza. The White House said the two sides agree on the need to destroy Hamas and Rafah, but expressed concerns over the risk to innocent Gazans. The Israelis agreed to consider those concerns and hold follow-up discussions. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, there needs to be a safe area created, and the IDF is in position to create that safe area so civilians from Rafa can go to a safe area that they would then be under the protection of the IDF, wouldn't be a, a, under threat from the IDF, and then you could uh, continue the war against Hamas and continue to wipe it out. My heart goes out to the workers who were lost from the World Central Kitchen. Uh, they were responsible for over 60% of the NGO aid going into Gaza. The fact that they have suspended operations as a result of this strike, and it was a strike from Israel. It was quite targeted. When you see the picture of the uh, van that they were traveling in, it's quite clear that it was a targeted munition. And it, I don't understand how it ever happened because they claim they were coordinating their trip with the IDF and the IDF knew and knew that they were coming from a warehouse filled with food and they were trying to feed civilians inside Gaza to prevent starvation. Uh, this is something that Israel has to get to the bottom of and, and they promised full transparency. Uh, I, I hope and I pray that we can w wrap up this war against Hamas as quickly as possible. Uh, these kinds of um, casualties of war are, uh, it's just horrific. It should not have happened. 
and and I I trust the IDF to be transparent. I hope they live up to that trust. 